I'm Julie, director of the Mendix University program. Let's talk about data structures in Mendix, or the domain model. As a user of an application, it may have never occurred to you that the information you submit into an application or see displayed on the screen of an app actually needs to be stored and structured somewhere. In Mendix, the domain model is where all of your app's data is stored. The domain model is an abstracted relational database based on standard UML notation and uses object-oriented principles. If you're not familiar with any of those terms, that's okay. It just means that the Mendix domain model is a visual representation of your database. This model of your database allows you to work with agility because you can quickly and easily build your data as your app grows and changes. This is what the domain model looks like in Mendix. Each blue box is an entity, which has various attributes. For example, the course entity has attributes such as title, duration, and price. Behind the scenes where the data is stored, each entity becomes a table in the database. In each table, the attributes become the columns and the rows will get populated with the values. For example, the course entity creates a course table with title, duration, and price attribute columns. Once you start collecting data, the values become the rows of that course table. Some entities are related. For example, a course is scheduled to happen during a training event. For that, you can create an association between the training event entity and the course entity. After creating the entities, attributes, and associations, your domain model will look like this. It provides a visual representation of the data in your app. The great thing about the Mendix domain model is that you can easily add more entities, attributes, and associations as needed, and it won't break your database. Thanks for watching. Good luck in the next steps of your Mendix journey.